Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead with Frozen Foxy. Last time we left off, we were um, inside this truck. I actually moved outside of it um, during the interim because for some reason saving inside of trucks uh, tends to screw up the game, so I'm not saving inside of the truck, and we're outside of it. In any case, um, we are still here waiting for the zombie horde to notice us. Um, looks like they might have possibly moved a little bit forward. I can't quite tell. I don't know. I had to get out of the truck. <laughs> so it's, it's quite possible that they did. Um, what I can do at the moment is uh, I could empty the stuff that's on me off into the truck or I can uh, get into the truck and not really care. Also, you might see that we have um, there's, there's two dots and a straight line next to our strength, dexterity, all that kind of stuff. That's actually our face, and we're kind of mildly not amused about the situation. Um, you can actually see your morale modifiers, and um, depending on your current morale, that little face will change. Um, so, for example, if I were to eat, uh, let's see here, do I have any on me? Yes, I do. If I were to eat some potato chips, my guy uh, will be happy about it because potato chips are fattening and he likes them. He likes to be a little chubby Kyle Adams. Okay, <laughs> no, no, he actually just likes a taste. Um, but if we check our morale now, um, we enjoyed some potato chips. And we've got a total morale of 11, which is nice. It's not uh, the best it could be. And these zombies are definitely uh, moving up this way. I think they have uh, recognized that I'm over here. So I'm going to climb into this... Uh, this truck, yes, I would like to board the vehicle, please. And I'm going to close the door next to me. Now, um, the issue with being in a truck is your controls actually get reversed, or a car in general, um, if you're facing in a downward direction. So if I am to hit the direction that I would think I would hit uh, to go down here, I start to reverse. If you uh, check out those miles per hour there, I've got 10 miles per hour on one side and 4 on the other, um, and it's negative. Now, negative 4 miles per hour is our actual speed right now. The negative 10, which is in green, is um, a cruise control. You can actually turn on and off the cruise control for the car if you want, um, disabling it. You can also turn on the uh, headlights if you want, or um, you can just exit the menu altogether, and that's a, a dollar sign to get into this menu. Um, dollar sign outside of vehicles is actually to sleep, so it's kind of a little bit difficult to remember stuff because uh, you've got multiple ways of uh, going through here. Anyway, we're not going to go in reverse because that's that's just silly. We're going to uh, we're going to head forward, and we're we're starting to move. Um, I'm going to start trying to turn, and we, we have fumbled with the controls. If we keep going in this uh, if, in this direction as we are, we're going to probably hit this store. Um, that's not what I want to do. I really want to run down these zombies if I possibly can, uh, since they will probably end up killing me. <laughs> Safe mode's on. Okay, let's... Let's turn that off. I don't know why that's on. Anyway, um, still fumbling with the controls. We're we're moving at a, a fairly good clip here, and we're not uh, we're not capable of turning this apparently. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're starting to turn just a little. Um, you'll notice that uh, the zombies down here have um, when it's saying south and southeast. It's uh, it's turning the slight. Uh, reddish, pink, orange, whatever color, um, that usually indicates that they have noticed you. Uh, and to that end, that they want to kill you. Holy shit, there's a lot of zombies down here. Oh, we're so screwed. Um, this was probably a very bad idea, and uh, Kyle is going to hate us for it, because Kyle is going to die. But uh, that's fine. We are going to uh, continue barreling down this way, and uh, it looks like something has just been uh, spat at the car. 
That's fantastic. Hopefully that doesn't uh, uh, do out our tires here, but uh, there's there's some acid on the ground here. We're, we're barreling down towards the spitter zombie. I think we'll probably hit him. Um, looks like uh, my wheel's fine. Frame's fine. That's it's a little messed up. But uh, for the most part, the front of the truck is uh, pretty fine. This looks a little busted on the side, but uh, we're, we're okay. We're okay. We'll uh, see what happens. Barreling down through them. Oh, yeah. Flatbed truck has inflicted 196 damage. Yeah, that's right. What are you going to do now, spitter zombie? All right. I'm going to try and uh, redirect the truck a little bit. Uh, okay, that's not actually the right way that I wanted to go, but we ended up uh, destroying two zombies because of it. Okay, we got some spit on us. Oh, oh, I think we may have uh, just destroyed our tire. Um, it is quite possible that our car is going to be wrecked and we won't be able to move at all. Actually, no, that's just that's just blood, I think, that's on our car right now. We are, we are wrecking some zombies. So far, the car uh, seems okay. I, I just don't want to... Oh, wow. This is a mess down here. So this is an electric zombie, a shocker zombie. <laughs> Something that Left 4 Dead doesn't have. So this zombie's flesh is pale blue, and it occasionally crackles with small bolts of lightning. Yeah, he's gonna fuck us up probably. Um, another spitter here. This zombie's mouth is deformed into a round spitter. And its body throbs with dense yellow fluid. That sounds absolutely lovely and disgusting. Let's also check out one of these grabber zombies while we're here. This zombie seems to have a slightly longer than ordinary arms and constantly gropes at its surroundings as it moves. So if you get next to one of these, this is kind of like a, uh, a clot from Killing Floor, and we'll grab onto you while other zombies come to try and beat the crap out of you. Alright, um, well, we will continue on our rampage, and hopefully our car will not break down in the middle of this, because if it does, we are in serious trouble. There is a lot of zombies in this town. This could, uh, this could really end very, very badly for us. I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm really hoping it doesn't. We're gonna try and turn... and at least clip... oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Working on it. We're, we're, we're slowly... slowly managing to kill some zombies here. We're probably gonna get, uh, electrified in a second. I don't want to turn that much. Holy crap. Okay, so now we have a bolt of electricity coming towards us. We're going to hit this entire thing. There is uh, no two ways around it. There's uh, crackling on the frame here. We, uh, we're doing okay. I don't know if the truck is going to last through this much longer. But as long as we don't hit any walls, I think we should be fine. Oh, we got a zombie dog down here. That's uh, painful. This disformed sinewy canine stays close to the ground, loping forward faster than most humans ever could. And we got some child zombies down here. I really don't want to run over those because I might screw with my morale. Um, but as long as I take out most of the uh, special zombies, this is uh, possibly doable. To the point that I could uh, I could come back to that store and grab some stuff out of it. Okay, well let's uh, let's see what happens. So far um, we're not doing too badly. Gonna try and turn the car. Uh oh, the zombies on our car! What's going on here? Okay, uh, I don't think he actually managed to get in. Just gonna run down some zombies. Um, <laughs> wow, we are we are wrecking here. We should have called ourselves Ralph, jeez. Oh boy. Okay. So far so good. Uh-oh, some boomers down here too. Well, we're going to we're going to try and drive through them as well. Yeah, uh, I think I think we got them. <laughs> we are just slamming through town. 
Uh oh, what the hell is that? I think that might be smoke. Um, yeah, smoke. So there is a smoker somewhere in the midst of all that. What do we have here? We got a zombie cop. He could shoot at us. That would be terrible. Um, what do we have here? Zombie's jaw has been torn off, leaving a gaping hole from the mid-neck up. He's a shrieker zombie. That does not sound um, particularly fun, and I think this is a skeleton here. A skeleton picked clean of all but a few rotten scraps of flesh. Somehow, it's still in motion. Yeah, skeletons are very dangerous. But I think the cop bonnie, or the the cop zombie, <laughs> cop bonnie, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, the cop is probably more dangerous considering that he might have a gun. He does have riot gear on currently. Um, well, uh, we'll see what happens here. We're we're still destroying zombies as we're uh, as we're coming down here. Things are dying. It it seems to be fine. Um, what the hell is that? Is that that might be a deer over there? But there's also something a red zombie. What what exactly is that? A zombie brute, a hideous beast of a zombie, bulging with distended muscles on both arms and legs oh boy that sounds dangerous and that is a deer yeah I thought that was a deer okay um well we are certainly running down a number of zombies but I don't think it's nearly enough for us to uh, to actually be able to win in this town <laughs> especially with the zombie brute here because zombie brutes are tough as nails um, he might be able to actually stop my car. All right. Um, well, we'll we'll continue down here, jamming through everything. Um, to the northeast, we're hearing a crash. I hope that's not us crashing into something. Let's let's check our map here. No, there's there shouldn't be anything that we should be crashing into currently. Okay, we're we're slamming into stuff. Um. So far, so good. Oh, I don't like that there's smoke right here. I can't tell how close I am to this building. I'm going to start turning away. Now, I guess I'm on the road, so it really doesn't matter. That that smoke is kind of dangerous, though. Uh-oh, hitting rocks. Uh-oh, we're fumbling with the controls. <laughs> we're doing our best. Oh, this car. Uh-oh. We're, we're starting to lose control here. Starting to lose control. Okay, we're, we're fine so far. We're kind of gliding a little too far over, though. Alright, well, we are uh, making out of town. What the hell is that zombie? Let's see here. We've got something. Oh, it's just a spitter. Okay. I did not remember that uh, spitters were that color. Okay. So, um... This truck is probably getting pretty damaged right now from what we're doing, <laughs> but um, I, I am happy with the results so far of what we've managed. Alright. I think we have managed to, uh, to glide through town okay. Uh, sorry, bunny, or whatever. Oh, it was a squirrel. <laughs> Damn it! Don't hit any deer. Those things will kill you when you're driving. That's that's pretty bad. So you can technically hit um, your uh, your handbrake at any given time if you like, but um, I highly recommend against it, considering that uh, it could very well uh, end up causing you to spin out. All right, we're gonna start slowing down. So that we can uh, we can begin to turn around here. I'm probably gonna end up running through some shrubs. This looks really awkward. Oh no, we we turned around pretty well there for uh, for fumbling with the uh, the controls. We ran over something that I didn't want to run over, but you know whatever. We seem to be doing fine. We're gonna pick up the pace and. Uh, uh oh, shocker zombie does not like it. I've been electrocuted. That actually hurts. That actually hurts. That's okay. 
We might we might want to go just a tad faster. We're we're heading at 30. I'm sure that's the speed limit around here, right? All right. I uh, I kind of wonder how the truck is doing at this point because it's seriously bloody all over this thing. <laughs> that's fantastic. I'm enjoying this way too much. All right. Um. It looks like we're almost empty on gas. You know, I should probably not go back into town here. I'm gonna try and turn... Oh, we better slow down. Try and turn and hit this skeletal zombie. No, I missed him. Yeah, we're going a little bit too fast. I need to get out of town right now, is what I need to do. Um, because if I stay in town with all those things and I run out of fuel I'm gonna be screwed beyond belief alright time to uh, to run this car out of town and we'll uh, we'll exit the car momentarily I think we're we're getting pretty far out of town yeah I think we should be fine here alright with that, I would like to uh, slow down our car here, and it uh, looks like we're good. Let's let's open the door and, uh, and get the hell out of this vehicle. Okay, um, I'm seeing that wasp somewhere, but for the most part, it looks like uh, we survived. We we did some serious damage in the town. Let's let's check out what's going on here. So um, top speed or top safe speed is uh, 80 miles per hour. It looks like um, top speed is way way above that though. Um, let's see. Yeah, our fuel is way down. There's no way that this car is going to be particularly helpful. And its fuel usage is pretty bad. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, I think at the moment this this car is uh, is out of the question for us. We've we've been hit pretty bad by uh, one of these shocker zombies here. It looks like a skeletal zombie is still following me. I need to get back to the car and hope that it has enough fuel to. Uh, to continue uh, getting me out of here, I'm gonna close the door and we're gonna we're gonna pick up the pace and get out of here. I don't know how how much longer this car will be able to move, but I need to get away. I think I'm gonna pick up the pace even more. Let's see here, how far are we out? We're we're about to drive into the forest. I don't know what's down in the forest other than that lab, and honestly, you can't go into labs unless you have a science ID card. I think I'm going to run out of gas before we find anything, and we're beginning to fumble with the controls. What in the hell is that? Is that just a regular dog? I think we're going to end up hitting it. I don't have time to react. That's a dog. I'm sorry, dog. I don't want to kill you, but it's probably going to happen. I didn't mean it. I really didn't. That's an impassable tree with an apple on it. I was just wondering what the hell that was. I'll try to turn. No, it's not going to happen. I didn't want to turn. Okay. I think I missed the dog. I think I somehow managed to miss the dog. You'll be safe and free, dog. Don't worry. Yeah, who cares about squirrels? All right, I just don't want to hit any of these trees because that uh, that could be really dangerous for both the truck and me. Okay, we're kind of we're kind of drifting over this direction. I whoops, I don't want to go that way. No, don't do that. That's that's dangerous. We are not good with with uh, these controls right now. Let's see here. Does do we have like a driving skill somewhere? I think we do. Let's see, where is... There it is. We have 30% driving skill. We don't even have level 1 yet. We're going to run out of fuel long before we... Uh-oh. Uh this right over here, this nice, uh, this nice white stuff that you might be able to see, that's spider webs. 
or cobwebs as they're called, but usually that means there's some kind of spider around here, and spiders are, um, rather dangerous, considering that, uh, they have the capability to poison you and so forth. So that's probably what that question mark is. We're passing the science lab now. I'm going to continue uh, on down this way as far as I possibly can, and maybe we'll discover another town. Probably not. We seem to be just discovering more and more forest at this point. Um, so this right here is actually a card reader, and that's how you actually open this door here. So there's no way in there right now, which is too bad. I would really like to get in there and, and see what's going on. I don't want to hit shrubs. Aw, oh, man. It doesn't look like I have enough control over this, uh, this truck just yet to avoid things like that. This is, uh, this is quite a long forest here. I don't know that we're going to manage to come out to the other side at all. And we're fumbling with the truck's controls, which is not good. Because we're starting to veer off to the side. I don't want that to happen. Oh, this is so dangerous. Alright, let's check out where we are. No, nope, just more forest. The problem with stopping in the middle of a forest is we might end up uh, in wolf territory. Which is not... Oh my. We are losing control here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need to keep turning. Okay. Getting back on the road. This is not a very uh, easily handled truck, apparently. <laughs> what is that in the road? Probably a tire or something. It's a motorbike wheel. Uh, well, we missed it, so that's that's always good. Looks like another wheel. Um, I think we've come out the other side of the forest, more or less. Yeah, no more forest left. And I'm hoping that... Whoa. Whoa now. Don't you be veering off there. That's not That's not good. Oh man. <laughs> We're just ramming things now. Let's see. We've got a pipe and a bunch of rocks. Nothing of any particular interest here. Oh, uh, what's that? It's a foot crank. Okay. I don't think I currently need that, but... Cool. Foot crank. I'm surprised that we haven't run out of gas yet. I, I thought we would have by now. Uh-oh. There is a turn here. Now, this, this yellow stuff on the side of the road usually is guardrails, and we really don't want to run into that. Yeah, that's really... <laughs> oh, boy. Um, Let's see. So we could turn down that way and check out where the guardrails lead us, but at the same time might end up hitting the guardrails, and I don't want to do that. I would like to, um, to turn down this other street that's coming up, if this car isn't empty by the time we get there. Damn it! Stop veering! No! Don't do that! We are fumbling with the controls of this truck a lot. Okay, I'm gonna try and turn down here. I think we're uh, more or less turned. Looking kind of odd, but uh, we're turned. Oh, watch it. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like it's a little bit harder to control this truck right now. I think possibly the truck is uh, a little bit damaged, or I'm just a terrible driver. One way or another, bad things are happening. Ooh. We have found something interesting. Uh, if you check the mini-map there, you can see that there's some M's right there. M's indicate a mansion. Um, this might be a nice place to, uh, to stake out. Um, there's military outpost here, but a military outpost is not very helpful considering that we don't have a military ID card, and oftentimes they have uh, turrets, which will shred you to pieces. Okay, we're going to start slowing down, because I'm going to 
I'm gonna check out this place. Uh, that is not what I want to do. I want to do this. Yes. Okay, we are, um... Oh, I, I fell. I guess the car was still moving. My bad. I jumped out. <laughs> Ow. We, we are hurting now. We are hurting. But we have found a large mansion here, which has a library of some sort. It's full of books. This is a really nice place. Um... I don't think there's going to be any zombies here. The one issue is... Okay, it's unlocked. This place is unlocked. Um, I don't know if it's a good or a bad sign, but... Uh, we we have found a place. There's a column here. So we've got like a columned entrance. What is this stuff? A great helm and plate mail. <laughs> Holy crap, we got armor. This is totally my kind of mansion. And Alpike? Awesome! Sweet! I think we're going to be switching our weapon out. That that looks awesome. I hope there's a sword in here. I want a sword so bad. Whoops. Uh, another pike. It looks like someone at some point took a... Uh, ooh, a broadsword. Nope, maybe not. I was thinking that they all had pikes and then that one was missing like someone took it. But no, there there is a broadsword here. We we are going to take this broadsword. Um So, yeah, I guess I guess I should have enough for it. No, I don't. It's quite heavy. <laughs> oh, I wish it was a smaller sword. Let's check out this library and see just how big it is. Holy crap, look at this. This is amazing. Look at this library. It's huge. We're a little cold right now, I just noticed. And we're also uh, pretty damaged. I imagine the reason we're cold is our, our gear is ripped apart. Um, our eyeglasses are cut. We've got a ripped dust mask. It looks like our gear actually held together pretty well. The uh, one issue here is we've got a lot of pain, and um, we're really far away from any town that I know of. And we're not that bad on being cold, it looks like. Got cold hands. I should have taken some of those rubber gloves earlier. But this is a mansion, so it's quite likely that there's going to be um, some kind of bedrooms in here. Usually mansions have a lot of dining rooms in them, but... Uh, I like mansions. They're they're pretty awesome. Let's see what we got in here. We got pool balls. We have a pool table. Yes! The apocalypse is saved. We have a pool table. Alright, what do we got in here? We've got paper wrappers, glass bottles, knives, and uh, rock outside the window, I think, is what that is. The one issue with mansions is... Um, a lot of squirrels get inside, and there's windows. Um, so with squirrels inside, it, it often looks like there's noise, and you can't tell if there's actually danger, um, or if it's just a squirrel. Okay, we got a deer in here, actually. <laughs> okay, that's, that's even better. Um, but yeah, you can't tell if there's any danger, which is a big problem, because there could be a zombie or a wolf or a spider or something that's about to break through and uh, try to eat you. It's unlikely that there's going to be a zombie out here because we are pretty far from anything as far as I can tell other than that military complex. I'm guessing perhaps this place was uh, meant to be connected with that. Anyway, next time we'll uh, investigate some more of this mansion. Um, I'm probably going to go to that library and rearrange the books so I can find the good ones and put away the bad ones. See y'all later!